also I got a question the other day. A lady wanted to know, what are my top five most favorite pieces of equipment? Well, as far as welders go, and God knows I do a lot of welding, it'd have to be this big guy right here. The Everlast Lightning MTS 275. What does MTS mean? Well, that's MIG, TIG, stick. So it has the three different functions in there. So you can do heavy metal, you can do light metal, you can TIG, you can MIG. I mean, it's, it's just an amazing machine to use. So welder, number one, right there. But normally, before you ever even think about welding any metal together, you gotta cut it to size. What do I use? Nine times out of 10, the Ellis 1800 horizontal miter bandsaw monster machine lots of throat to it you can get lots of big metal in it it's quick it's quiet it's so straight smooth precise it is just amazing really really nice pants off and for the more complex cutout shapes something that you're trying to take a piece of flat steel and make something that's not is a CNC cutout table so it's got a big plasma torch Plasma cutters in the, in the toolbox over here, all computer controlled. Do your designs on the computer in the office, hand it off to the table, zip, 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 cuts out all your shapes. Nice, neat, even, clean. Oh my God, why did I ever wait so long to buy one? And sometimes you want to just shape something. You want to have a curve, you want to have a, a spiral, you want to have you know, just a different shape than you could get from just a flat piece of steel. So you can cut it out over there, you can cut it out on the bandsaw, but then you have to shape it. Well, that's where a slip roll comes in. You can take a flat piece of metal, and you can do twists, you can do turns, you can do spirals, you can do circles, you know. Just opens up that creative freedom, if you will, to have a machine that can do all the hard work for you. You just got to sit there and crank the hand. And of course, you got to have some place to work. Now, so I've got a fixed height workbench over behind you where I can do some of my welding. But when the pieces get really big, it's really nice to have a table that's not quite so much on the ground, but it comes to you. So this is a lift table. Because this was an old automotive garage, I used to stop. Clowns. They're all clowns. <laughs> so this is my hydraulic lift table. This used to be an old automotive garage. It still is. Functioning. It's a functioning automotive garage. But this cylinder, this big chrome cylinder that this piece of plate is sitting on, it was an in-ground car lift, like you see in the gas stations. So it had those four big arms on it. You drive your car over it, you move the arms out, pick up the whole car. Well, I don't need that. That's just something for me to trip over. So get rid of that mechanism. Get this piece of 10 foot by five foot by inch and a quarter thick steel plate and put it up here on the cylinder. So now I've got a workbench, plenty big enough, flat, that goes all the way to the floor so I can get something on or off of it. But I can also, pick it up if I want to, up if I want to. <laughs> so if I'm working on something real tall, I can always put my welder up here, I can get up here, and somebody can pick me up to six foot in the air. So I can work on something that's, you know, 10, 12 feet tall, you know, as tall as the ceiling in here. Or I can always put my sculpture on the table and pick it up and work on it at whatever height I need it to be at. So it's easier on your back, it's easier on your neck. You're not hunched over a bench looking down all the time. And this way you can get whatever you're working on up to whatever height you need it at. Right here in front of you, down a little lower. You know, if you're grinding on something, you lower it down even more. So you're, you're not, you know, trying to run a, a grinder up here in the air. I mean, it's been a great, great addition to have in the shop. I don't know how people work without one. So Tina, great question. The rest of you, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, leave your comments down below. Let me know which one of these five is your favorite. Or have you got a different one? Something I should know about? Leave your comments down below. I do appreciate you watching. Don't forget to give me a like. And I'll see you all next time.
So Tina, that was a great question. I really do appreciate you call, you're writing in what is going on. Why are people always playing with stuff in the background? 